A storm is brewing as our brave challengers enter the AI stadium ready to compete in an epic battle of wit, creativity, and conversational skill. Since November 2022, chat, GPT, and large language models have taken the world by storm, becoming common tools in our daily language work. But the question remains, which chef can use these breakthrough chatbots most skillfully to craft delectable dialogue? We have three challengers competing to see whose chat routines shall reign supreme. They'll need to act fast as the clock ticks using instinct, finesse, and fluency to impress our panel of discerning judges, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> like our namesake cooking show, our Iron Chat contestants have just minutes to write and execute prompt recipes to meet today's secret challenges. The heat is on and creativity is sizzling, so stay tuned to see if our challengers can stand the heat or if their skills get lost in the sauce here on Iron Chat. Each of our contestants today is playing for two things. Number one, bragging rights, but number two, also on behalf of a charity of their choosing. The winner will get a $500 donation to the charity of their choice. So let's go ahead and introduce our celebrity ch chef challengers. Man, that's hard to say. All right. Um, I would like to now welcome to the stage Chris Brogan, Brooke Sellis, and Valentina Escobar Gonzalez. All right, Chris, I'm going to turn it over to you so you can tee up the first challenge. All right. Our first challenge today is content creation for a company blog. Contestants, listen carefully. Marketers are creating content all the time and the content we create has to be great to attract engage and retain our customers for this challenge we will be using the fictional company magneto dynamics magneto dynamics makes magnets for just about any application but sells most of them to power and turbine companies and all right uh that's a fun challenge so um contestants you will have just three minutes to cook up and, and or it should be stir up yeah to stir up an enticing and delicious 150 word blog post for magneto dynamics using a, a um using your conversational skills and inviting a chat gpt 3.5 to engage its conversational skills the post should highlight um, their innovative magnetic technologies, magneto technologies, um, and get readers excited about how magnets power our world. All right, so let's go ahead and start the clock and see who can craft the best compelling content. And while our contestants are doing that, Anne, what do you think makes a good prompt? Oh my goodness. Um, you know, I think the way that I approach prompting is is very much the way that I approach um, interviewing a subject matter expert back when I was in journalism school. And I talked about this, I think it was in the third or fourth session of AI for Content Creators a few weeks ago. Um, so, you know, the classic journalist, who, what, when, where, why, that's where I start my prompting because it helps me, just like if I'm talking to an actual person or a subject matter expert, it really helps me uncover what do I actually need and what is this all about? And more importantly, why should the audience care? And so I try to connect it to, to the output to right away, why does this matter so much and why is this significant for ultimately for the audience, for the readers? So how about you, Chris? How do you approach it? Uh, I use a framework actually invented by my partner and CEO, Katie Robert, who uh, came up with this called Race, Role, Action, Context, Execution. Uh, and it says you role, like what is the what is ChatGPT supposed to be? Are you an expert marketer? Are you a power dynamic specialist? What is the action we want it to take? Like write a blog post, write a newsletter, and so on and so forth. And there's a big section of context, all the details, like you know, the magnets, for example how magnets are used and the execution we put in things like style like write in a professional tone of voice maybe don't use so many adverbs you know uh avoid business jargon and and corporate cliches and that race format allows you to provide the details that the model needs to know to understand hey this is who you are this is what you're going to do because a lot of the time these language models they don't really understand that they have a very hard time being abstract but if you're very clear and say follow these guide rails, it, you tend to get very, very good results. Have you tried a format like that, Anne? Um, I haven't, but I will. Um, I love what Abigail says here, though, about how AI over adjectives <laughs> everything. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know what your experience has been, Chris, but I actually do find that to be true. It tends to over index on lots of adjectives and also tends to be um, kind of wordy. So any advice for, for how do we actually work through that? Um, 
you have to tell it. You have to tell it mm -hmm. how to how to speak, right? Think of it like a, a very bright but completely unexperienced intern. And you just have mm -hmm. to say, here's what we want to do. Uh, I heard one comment at the Marketing AI Conference a couple weeks ago that I thought was also fabulous, a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but AI is really, is, it's like the world's best mansplainer. So you have to like, <laughs> tone that down, turn that down. Uh, we have 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Contestants, push away your keyboards. <laughs> Hands in the air. <laughs> Hands in the air. Hands okay. up. Okay. Hands up. Let's take a look at what our contestants have cooked up. For this round, we'll have Chris Brogan start sharing a screen, followed by Brooke, then by Valentina. So, Chris, share your screen and talk us through briefly what you cooked up. All right. So, I wrote my prompt to say that you're a content marketing expert for Magneto Dynamics because I start with the role. That's always, the, when I ever learned that, I felt like I don't need to learn any other things about prompting just now that I know the role thing. Your job is to turn on the kinds of people who need magnets for their turbines. Please write a max of 150 words about the challenge of manufacturing turbines with faulty magnets. I look for the benefit, not the here's what we sell thing. Hmm. Explain in the end how Magneto Dynamics makes the most reliable magnets ever. Talk about how our testing and QC process guarantees successful turbines. Use few adjectives in your, I did this while you guys were talking, in your only 150 <laughs> word prompt, please. And that was it. I said, All right, please scroll down so we can take a look at the post. Gonna, gonna, yeah, we're not going to have you read that loud. So, Anne, Good. looking at looking at the output here, how do you feel? Well, Anne, let me first ask you, how do you feel about the prompt? Well, how, would you, how many points did you give it? You know, zero, one, or two? I would actually say that Chris Brogan from multitasking, writing and listening, I have not. I mean, we need to just wait. Is it is is one or two points? Is two is more is more right? We're looking for the high yes. score. This isn't like golf, right? Where you want the That's low correct. score. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Um, I mean, I have to give him two for that because I think that was really smart, Chris. To also, turn it around into the positives. Um, so yeah, hold on. I just gotta like read this here so I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of the output, I thought the prompt was very good. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, with a, a, quite a time crunch. Uh, for the output, looking at this, this looks like pretty good output. There's not too much, you know, business jargon. So I would give this, I would give this full marks as well. What mm. do you say? Anne? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, uh, Brooke. Go ahead and start sharing your screen and show us what you cooked up. I went through a couple of different prompts. So really quickly, my first prompt was saying you're a content marketing expert, fluent in SEO and CRO and writing content with a punch of personality. You need to write a 150 word post. It doesn't say that for your client that highlights their company and their product, which is outlined below. Magneto Dynamics is a company that sells ancestral batteries using innovative technologies. They want to share their expertise on battery technology that will teach readers about their business, but also will be powerful marketing for any potential customers. So it went through and gave me a um, 150 uh, piece post, but uh, I wanted to rewrite it with a little bit more of a technology viewpoint, which it did. And then I asked it to write it a third time with less of a salesy tone and ended on this one. All right. So Anne, how do you feel about the prompting? Prompting? I feel, um, God, this is tough. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard for you guys. This is hard for us too. Um, I think, um, I think, I think Brooke, you did a great job with, um, with trying to get to where you wanted it to go. I mean, I think one of the lessons that, I, that well, I think we can take away from this is, you know, if it's not delivering on the first time, just like keep at it until it, it delivers what you need it to deliver. Um, and it sounds like you kind of went through that learning process right there. I would agree. And what do you think about the output, Anne? We are deeply, you know, it sounds kind of salesy to me too. It still <laughs> sounds a little press releasey. not going to lie. It feels like chat GPT. 3.5 wrote this. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, my. That's just my uh, my gut reaction right here. It feels like I would see this at the bottom of a press release or something like that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, Valentina, talk us through <laughs> what you cooked up. Yeah, I'm absolutely like terrified because there's 200 people doing Zoom <laughs> live, and I'm a, I'm a newbie. Hence, I've done all the weeks classes, so I'm actually terrified right now. No, but... no, you're good. You're good. No one, exactly like Carrie said, no one is judging you. We're just, we're this is a learning opportunity. We're just grateful that you're here. So it's just multitasking, listening to what you're saying, and then tr trying to put it into the prompt there. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, Anne, what do you think for uh, both the prompt and the response here? 
I think you could have put a little bit more, a little bit more detail in your initial prompt, Valentina. Um, but aside from that, I mean, I think it's it's exactly on point, right? It's exactly what we're looking for in terms of a tone that is easy to understand, under 500 words. Okay. And so, Anne, how do you feel about this copy? It's um, it strikes me as a little bit wordy. I would definitely tighten it up and. Um, feels like we need to be super clear on what the takeaway is for the audience. Again, I think I think chat GPT and, and all of the AI tools, they tend to default to sounding like robots writing press releases. Um, maybe it is that mansplaining effort. I'm not sure, but I, I feel like very often it kind of it kind of um, veers into this into this speak that doesn't have a lot of, of personality. So I don't know, Chris, all I'd right. be curious to hear what you have to say about it. I, I would agree as well. Having more of that context and yeah. uh, outlined structure can really help tune the outputs much more so. Um, so that is round one. Mm -hmm.